Hello guys, welcome back to another Mountain Blade Prophecy of Pandor mod video. Just to fill you in here a little bit what happened in the last ep- or between the last episode and this one. Last episode we joined the Vikings and I fielded a large army uh, basically hiring troops from all of the villages I befriended uh, in the last episode and the episodes before that. But we are still at peace with everyone so there's no one to have war with. So I have a large army and no castle to put the army in to make my wages smaller so I can run around the map easily as well and I don't just want to disband them all so I'm out trying to find a named warlord that we can try to capture and get a coalition by the way please hit that like button just a friendly reminder it makes me happy inside but most importantly well it makes YouTube think the video is okay and we'll send it to everyone's sub boxes instead of just sending it to well your sub box and a couple of others watching right now so please help out okay I found him. Kuda the Ravenger. 450 men? It's not bad. He has two older hunters too that we could rescue. Sucks it's only two though. I was kind of hoping for more. I think we could beat him. That's some really good units though. So we're gonna have to get ourselves like up a mountain or something. Ah oh, shit, they keep on following me, that small little group. Maybe we can... Uh... Okay, yeah, we can attack them solo. Yeah, Huskars do a pretty damn good job fighting these dudes. Uh, the thing is, they get a couple of kills early on as they charge in to you and your men, but uh, then they kind of get stuck on their own dead dudes' horses and their own living dudes' horses, and that kind of uh, that kind of li <laughs> gives the Huskars quite the advantage since they're just like the advanced curators with big ass weapons with lots of alpha damage. So the exact same thing that's been plaguing me. Trying to, you know, grind XP and whatnot is in my favor now instead. That feels pretty good. Uh, I think we're still gonna face and receive extreme casualties, but right now, like, the men are useless. We're not at war with any factions, we can't attack anything, so the best thing to do right now is to try to get Coliseums. So, we'll try to do KU the Ravenger next. We got a few extra men, uh, grab some uh, Blackheart uh, squires and knights and uh, also a couple of adventurers and a ranger as well so hopefully we can put these as kind of a wall so their cavalry can't like smash right into our line in full speed but we also need to let's get over here next to a tree and uh, let's attack him right here Nice to see you, you one-eyed freak. <laughs> this is, if you guys don't remember, this is the guy we somehow managed to get a, a gem from a, or capture uh, by pure luck early game whilst we were fighting with a Noldor Ranger party. I didn't even realize we were fighting him until, well, I captured him and got to keep him. So hopefully we can make it two for two. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> fucking Anson, man. Okay, please don't screw me now, Monteblade. Please. Ah, oh, it's fucking screwed me, chat. It screwed me bad. Okay, that looks to be okay at least. Cavalry down the bottom. Uh, you guys. You here. Archers here. Infantry right here. Stand closer. And. Ooh, almost forgot. I need to try to take some aggro here. Oh, there's Kyuda. Oh, yes. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we got a lot of his men. Oh, shit. Kind of. St oh, wow. Shit. Okay. Well, I might go down really quick here. I'm trying to take aggro. I kind of feel like that's a must right now, otherwise we're not going to stand a chance. Dude, the cavalry is doing a really good job stopping them, but I don't know if we can take this, man. Uh, the numbers aren't really in our favor at the moment. Um, okay, it's not looking awful, but it's not looking great either. Oh, oh, I'm probably down there. Oh, 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 no, I'm still alive. That's pretty cool. But man, we are getting, we're getting hammered. This is bad. This is really bad. Wow, that's a lot of men dying. Whoops, there's my horsey. Let's 
Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. That hurts. Okay, let's do, take one of them. We're getting reinforcements, though. And they're coming in from a pretty nice angle. But we are not exactly looking great. We're not even owning this hill anymore. I don't know how the losses are looking compared to the kills. But I'm gonna guess they're not looking great either. Fort oh my lord, we lost 120. This is all the men we have left. Wow. Um, I don't think we can do this. I think this is lost. I think we gotta pull back. Yeah, we're, we're rapidly losing every single man we have. Hansen is down too, so we're getting more deaths than we should. 17 men left. Wow. Okay, well, we, we still have some men. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fall back in line. We were about to lose, man. Do you want to be a prisoner of these fucks? Damn, that's bad. Well, 140 men left. That's still a fair good amount of men, but... Uh, most of them are not in fighting shape, and Unsen is down, so he's not gonna be able to fix anyone up in uh, any time either. Okay, I just hired 60 mercenaries as well. They should be decent men. Yeah, they're not bad. Can always use the cavalry as backstop against. Now we're up to 219 again, so uh, we will give it another try. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we killed enough of their best men to be able to put up a good fight. Okay, I fought uh, Kyuda again. Didn't go that great, lost a lot of men again. But since I do have a fantastic medic, most of them are healing up. And we're gonna go again. He only has 109 men left. I think we can do this, even on the semi-flat ground. Oh, there he is, I see him. I see him, I see you, you red cape little fucker. With your Super Mario flying hat on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> oh, I really should be helping out here, though. Uh, let's try to snipe some of these. I don't think we have to worry, though. We have... We have a lot better men right now. Without this honor guard or, like, those best men he had. Uh, this was... This was quite easy. But those, like, 70, 80 really elite dudes he has... They... Chewed up my men, my god. So this call is gem ended up costing us a lot if we even get it. Oh, praise Jesus. <laughs> we did get it at least. That's good. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I'm a little bit more happy now. That's pretty nice. Give me that call is gem. <laughs> very nice. A beautiful, a beautiful. Okay, not too bad. We lost some important units. I think all in all, that probably costed us. Close to like 56, no, 80, 90, maybe 100 grand. <laughs> I just realized I spent 60,000 on the mercenary troops. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I got 3,200 left. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's probably one of the most expensive quality gems I've ever had. Uh, note to self, bring more and better troops. Nice. Okay, because I uh, wrecked the Yatu army, or barely, I should say, we got plus one riding skills. Now I can blaze across on my Valiant Steed even faster. Okay, next thing to do is try to find uh, the dude that sells the potions to improve our companions. And I'm ridiculously lucky. <laughs> Phineas the Digiti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a gem, or this is a potion for me, this is a potion for me, and this is a potion for my companions. Uh, the first potion, elixir or whatever, uh, gives me two agility and two strength, and 20 weapon proficiencies. Uh, the next one gives me two character and two intelligence and two skill points. And the third option is random on my companions. It's basically these two, but random on my companions. So one companion might get two agility, uh, two strength, and 20 in all weapon proficiencies. And another one might get two intelligence, two charisma, and two skill points. So we're gonna do Dust of the Twilight for our companions. 
and all oh, the tolerance and intelligence increased. Oh my god, yes. Thank Jeebus. I was hoping for that. Before he never got that. Oof, because he never levels up. So without that, you don't get any skill points to spend on him. So I would like to put him on 7 and 8, so he can have a strong Nolder bow. But right now, we have, like, no Nolder bows or nothing. But because he's level 43, he is perfect to have as a trainer. So we're gonna get his trainer up to 5. That should uh, make a pretty big difference. And, yeah, we have a lot more skill points. Oh, even one of the Nolder hunters already became a warrior. Pretty sweet, not bad. Uh, so I'm gonna distribute uh, the points as R. As you can see, not everyone got the intelligence, but mostly everyone. So Alyssa got strength and agility, Sigmund got it, and Jocelyn got it. But everyone else got uh, skill points, so that's pretty nice. Okay, declaration of war. We have declared war on Sarleon. I'm guessing to regain some uh, land. I've only been back for like half a day. Where we should join? Yeah, I bet you want me to join a military campaign. Uh, I'm trying to recruit some more men so I get my army up again, but... Uh, did it really give me a lot of time? I thought it would honestly take a lot longer for that to happen, but uh, we're at war and hopefully we can take some stuff back. They have a, they have a lot of juicy stuff around here. And pretty much whatever castle... I remember this castle is fantastic to defend. Uh, but also a proper bitch to try to take. So whatever castle is the hardest to take, I'm gonna try to take and try to get to keep for myself, I guess. So we can use that second quality I might have to form a knight's order. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know how easy or quick that's gonna go though.